singles. Good morning kids. Today, let's revise what we already know about angles. Some basic points about angles are An angle is formed by two rays that have a common end point. So, here Q is the common end point of ray QP and ray QR. Here, the common end point Q is called the vertex of the angle. The two rays QP and QR are called the arms of the angle. When naming the angle, the vertex is always written in the middle. For example, angle PQR and angle RQP denote the same angle Q. We measure and draw an angle with the help of a protractor. We express the measurement of an angle in degrees. Now, let's revise how to measure an angle. Measure the angle LMN. Step 1. Place the central point of the protractor on the vertex M such that the zero degrees line coincides with ray MN. Step 2. Note that the protractor has two sets of readings. We read from whichever side the ray of the angle is pointing towards. Here, we read the scale from the zero on the right as ray MN points to the right. Step 3. Read the degree measure that coincides with ray ML. Ray ML coincides with 75 degrees. Step 4. Write the measure of angle which is equal to 75 degrees. Now, let's measure one more angle. Look at the figure. On measuring, we get the measure of the angle PIV as 135 degrees. Now, construct an angle. Construct an angle ABC of 110 degrees. Step 1. Draw ray BC. Step 2. Place the central point of the protractor on B such that the zero degrees line coincides with ray BC. Mark point A at 110 degrees counting from zero degrees. Step 3. Remove the protractor and join BA to get angle a, B, C. Now, let's construct one more angle. Construct an angle M, N, P of 85 degrees. Thus, angle MNP of 85 degrees has been constructed. Wasn't it fun revising angles?